是这个工委的议题，同时也是一个国安、还有经济以及治理的议题。所以我们非常呃赞赏台湾在这方面有这么多出色的表现。我们也期待在未来能够在这个相关的领域继续合作。那之所以我们双方能够有这么样突出的表现，一定不能够漏掉我们 AIT 的处长孙小雅处长他所做的各种贡献。他是非常呃有能力以及非常这个卓越的一个领导者。我们非常骄傲由他代表美国政府在台湾为我们行事。And so now we look forward to our conversation about how we can work together, learning from you and, and sharing some thoughts ourselves on how to protect the planet from the climate crisis, how to accelerate and learn from you, how you addressed the, the COVID crisis, how we advance uh, respect uh, for all of the people in our countries as we go forward. And again, we come in friendship we thank you for your leadership. We want the world to recognize that. And with that, again, I thank you, Vice President Tsai, for your hospitality, for your kind words. I'll just go back to Tiananmen Square for a moment. That was bipartisan. It was over 30 years ago. It was bipartisan when we were on Tiananmen Square. And we were there specifically making the statement on human rights. But our visit was about human rights was about unfair trade practices, and it was about security issue of uh, uh, technology, dangerous technologies being transferred to rogue countries, to countries of concern. So our, for over the years, it's always been about security, economy, and, and, uh, and governance. So we look forward to our conversation, and I think we're right on time. <laughs> 呃，那呃，接下来我会非常期待我们双方呃能够互相交流，来更加的了解我们双方呃有什么样的地方能够合作，并且请听各位的意见，向各位学习，包括呃在如何在这个气候变迁的议题上共同合作，同时也学习台湾这个防疫的出呃出色的防疫成就。另外还有了解说我们要如何在全世界推动以及尊重人权。那特别感谢台湾所展现的友谊，以及呃我们希望台湾能够在全世界。受到肯定。那感谢副院长刚才的这个美言，还有对于我们的热忱的欢迎。那最后关于这个天安门的这个议题，我想要特别的补充：三十年前我们到天安门的这时候，那个时候我们是以跨党派的身份来前往天安门的。那当时除了我们要表达对于这个人权的支持之外，我们同时还要表达的意见是对于美呃对于中国这个不公平的贸易的做法。来表示抗议，因为这个也是一个国安的议题。当时他强迫了许多的企业进行这个呃科技技术的转移，那转移到这个所谓的流氓国家，或者是让人有所疑虑的国家来进行强迫的技术转移。所以这个国安的议题，还有经济以及治理人权都是息息相关的。那我想我们时间好像差不多，我就先说到这里。非常感谢副院长，谢谢您。Mr. Vice President, um, it would be. Uh, Madam I Speaker, I uh, now the media will withdraw from uh, the room, will be excuse <laughs> themselves, and then we will have closed door section. <laughs> Uh, so Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi saying uh, proud of the leadership and have come uh, for friendship and peace to Taiwan. That's a statement coming in as we speak from uh, Nancy, Pul Pul uh, Nancy Pelosi saying have come here to listen and learn. So these are the live visuals coming right now of uh, Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. In fact, where she's uh, seen uh, meeting uh, the officials, the Taiwan officials uh, there. In fact, uh, what we understand as of now in this uh, 
Pelosi's address to the Taiwan uh, parliament is that she said, it's an honor to join you, saying proud of distinguished party that has come with us. Three purposes on agenda in this Taiwan visit in which uh, Pelosi there mincing no words, uh, laying out the purpose of the US uh, there for the visit of Nancy Pelosi, saying security, economics and governance is on the agenda. So big remarks there by Nancy Pelosi. We have Jason back with us reporting live from Taiwan. Uh, Jason, if you could take us through the highlights of uh, Nancy Pelosi's uh, remarks uh, in the parliament today. Yeah, it appears that she's at the legislative union with uh, Vice Vice Legislative Speaker Chen Tu Mai. Yes. Well, we also understand. Oh. Yes, yes, please. Oh, continue. excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's, it's, it's Tai Chi Chan. Sorry, I got the name wrong. Yes, if you could take, to, uh, take us through the key highlights of uh, her remarks, we understand that she uh, laid out the purpose of her visit very clearly, uh, saying that the three purposes, of course, are security, economics and governance on the agenda. Uh, I have not listened to uh, her, her talk, but mm. um, yeah, that sounds uh, very general as this is not an official visit. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so, Jason, if I can get your, uh, uh, you know, how do you read into these remarks by uh, Nancy Pelosi, where she's uh, laid out uh, very clearly that the U.S. Uh, that the agenda is going to be security, economics, and governance of the region. Uh, I'm sorry. What's what's what was your question? I wanted to get your insights on the remarks that have been made by Nancy Pelosi. As I just mentioned, uh, she's laid out it very clearly in the parliament, saying that the purpose of a visit is governance, economics, uh, uh, economics as well as security in the Taiwan region. Um, I would assume as far as security is concerned hmm. that uh, that's just uh, a support for the status quo as supported by President Biden, and uh, this basically means uh, no change, just uh, further economic cooperation between Taiwan and the United States and governance. Uh, I'm not sure what she means by that, but this, you know, that's pretty general, yeah. Yes. Uh, also, Jason, if you could take us through some of the details that you're picking up when we talk about, uh, you know, uh, any late, later statements coming in by the China's uh, mouthpiece as of now? Why China's what? China's mouthpiece, Global Times, if uh, anything uh, latest that is coming in with regard to uh, uh, the visit of Pelosi, why uh, it's latest. Okay, yeah. Yes. See, the most recent report is that uh, Su-35 jet fighters were crossing the Taiwan Strait, but uh, Taiwan media immediately refuted that, saying that it's not true. And uh, if something like that were happening, there would be sirens going on in Taipei City, and there are not, so... Yes. All right, uh, Jason there getting us all those details. Jason, we'll just come back to you in a bit. So those are the live visuals as well coming in. And just to take our viewers through the highlights of the remarks that have been made by Nancy Pelosi, where she's clearly said that she's looking forward to further the dialogue as well. In fact, those are the live visuals also that uh, we are getting to you. In fact, just a short while back, we got these visuals of Nancy Pelosi meeting the Taiwan speaker uh, as well. So that is the latest coming in where she, in her address, has clearly stated, mincing no words, saying that there are three purposes on the, this agenda, which include security, economics and governance. Uh, the aim is to increase interparliamentary dialogue is what Nancy Pelosi has said and that the U.S. delegation is here to work together. Proud of President uh, Tsai's leadership as well is what uh, Nancy Pelosi has said and that the U.S. is looking forward to further the dialogue. Grateful for the president leadership is what Nancy Pelosi has said. And in the visuals in which you can see Nancy Pelosi visiting uh, the Taiwan uh, speaker as we speak. So a lot of developments coming in and a massive US versus China direct face off that seems to be uh, taking place as Nancy Pelosi has gone ahead and has ensured that the meet take place uh, takes place with the, uh, the with Taiwan's top officials and in the visuals you can see uh, Nancy Pelosi meeting the Taiwan's speaker as we speak. Uh, in fact, uh, U.S. Uh, is uh, continues uh, to maintain that it is there uh, for a dialogue to take place, also saying that it uh, 
honors uh, the leadership it's grateful for the leadership of the president and uh, also going on to add that uh, the u.s delegation is in taiwan to work together so those are the latest remarks coming in uh, now nancy pelosi remember is in taiwan despite there have been uh, despite the threats that have been made by the china of uh, serious uh, by china of serious consequences as well so us undeterred by the chinese threats is what we understand as of now as nancy pelosi um, continues uh, with her uh, the meet that she has the engagements that are lined up through the day um, for uh, the day we have the first visit uh, the first meet that has taken place between pelosi and taiwan's speaker Slipping into a very short break. On the other side, we'll continue to get you live coverage as Pelosi meets the Taiwan's president. Jason Lee continues to be with us. Jason, be with us. We'll uh, get back to you just after a very short break. Slipping into a very short short break. Uh, on the other side, we'll get you the latest as Bengal cabinet reshuffle is on the cards today. Also, uh, that Pune wala of the Serum Institute says that monkeypox uh, vaccine is on the pipe pipeline, and research is underway.